I'm gonna give myself an aneurysm before this video's over. You fucking phony. I get 10 to 12 million views a month. I almost feel like it's irresponsible to give Jimmy this amount of attention when he clearly doesn't deserve it. And I'm the problem? Fuck you. It's AOC's fault. The whole video is like that. The entire 23 minutes. I don't know anything about the Boogaloo Boys. I am not endorsing a Boogaloo Boy. I am not, I don't know anything about it. While Jimmy likes to claim that Trump broke the brains of liberals, liberals broke the brain of Jimmy. I think we should shame people who need to make money from racist organizations like Fox News. Jimmy Dore, you're going to take so much abuse for doing this show, but I hope you'll come back. Jimmy operates on whataboutism like his life depends on it. I'm a contrarian. I'm a contrarian. You attack the Democrats enough and Joe Biden enough uh, you, you attract the audience that, that where their only ideology is, I just hate liberals, I just hate Democrats, that's it. So, do you guys watch Jimmy Dore? I love Jimmy Dore. I don't even watch TYT. Like, I love watching him just from a totally common sense and very reasonable perspective. Like, I'm, I'm not a leftist, but I feel that Jimmy Dore is the kind of leftist you could have a conversation with, and he wouldn't be crazy. They don't have one, Ben! But... Stop saying you're not sure! You have but... no fucking idea! They have no strategy, and you know it! And he wouldn't be crazy. It's the same thing we saw with Trumpists. Just because Jimmy pisses off people you don't like, doesn't make him correct, well-informed, or politically literate. But you they're... can't wear Hawaiian shirts anymore because people think you're a boob. Right, they think you're a boob, so... But, but, but... It was the Jimmy Dore Defense League who came out in full force to, well, what about everybody to death? I'm talking about anybody who's a progressive in Congress who isn't endorsing hashtag the vote. Jimmy was wrong about the Supreme Court. He thought the scenario of three seats getting filled in, which is exactly what happened, was like the moon falling into Lake Michigan. Jimmy, you're a coward. You know it, I know it, everybody else knows. It. You wanna be a tough guy, come be a tough guy. Come on the show, I'll invite you into the studio. Why is everyone so scared of a MSNBC liberal like Sam Seder? And then the great Jimmy Dore's like, I declare Ryan Grimm bad. But apparently, um, Jimmy Dore debated Ryan Grimm. And just like Jimmy's debate with Sam Seder, I don't think he wants you to see it. Thank Our you. answers like, were like, great! Are you fucking like shitting Green me? and I have been saying... Hold on! Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Yeah. So, uh, so Jimmy, I, I really is that and some of these clips, Jimmy's drinking. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Just wondering how much of a factor is that? But I have to point out just how differently uh, Jimmy acted when Tulsi Gabbard revealed that she was backing away from Medicare for All, adopting what is essentially the public option. Which is what Joe Biden ran on, by the way. Most people are for single payer. It's not quite Bernie's plan, but the beauty of it is it takes away that right wing talking point of scaring people about they're going to take away you're gonna, your health care. Jimmy, for a brief moment there, grew a brain. But his position every other time is that you're a fucking sellout. You're a gutless wonder. I've done more without a movement than he has with it. Where was your push for Medicare for all, Bernie? I did one in December. Where was yours? He claims to have done more for Medicare for all than Bernie has. Just just let that soak in. But is this about the fact that he didn't come on your show? Are you still salty about that? You gotta get over it, Jimmy. He's just not that into you. Insider oh, fuck you. Oh, go fuck yourself with your fucking committee fuck face. <laughs> you fucking egghead nerd. I don't give a fuck about your committee shit. Who, yeah. are you, who are you talking about with that, Jimmy? As long as you'll come on his show and uh, make his channel grow, it's really all that matters to him. These people are held hostage because Jimmy Dore's fans are their fans. And so if they don't do everything that Jimmy Dore wants them to do, then they're going to lose all of their money, all of their audience, all of their everything. So they're held hostage. If I was ever pulling anything like this, what Jimmy, like, like what Jimmy's doing here, I would take a, a big step back and just like, what am I doing? What am I doing with my life? What am I saying? How am I affecting these people? How am I affecting uh, everybody? What kind of role do I want to have? Am I making a positive difference? And I know that that was spoken like a true fucking corporate sellout. Get the fuck out of here, man. Do some research. Get serious. Anna Kasparian used to dress when I worked there uh, unbelievably inappropriately for a newsroom. <laughs> oh, there's a whole bunch of uh, degenerate, delinquent, 
behavior over the Young Turks. So what Jimmy admitted to is just totally fucking fine. And I do see this hypocrisy of like, people want to give themselves a pass for the political incorrectness, but then like label their opponents terrible things when they do the political incorrectness. And I don't like that game. That's a gutter game. And that's another reason why I didn't want to get involved. She's now going to try to pretend I sexually harassed her when I was at the young Turks. Since it's clear that none of you have half a clue what sexual harassment is, the difference between all that and what Jimmy did is that Anna clearly doesn't mind about the comments Chank make to her because being longtime partners, they both understand each other's boundaries as well as their own. Jimmy didn't. One time I was in a news studio and I won't say who did this, but someone wore <laughs> such a short... <laughs> no. He thinks it's funny. He thinks humiliating Anna Kasparian, it was just funny. It degrading her, making sexual comments. Overall, the point of this video is not just that Jimmy can do so much better. It's that you can do so much better than Jimmy. There are a lot of enemies in politics and your anger is justified. But if you're not directing it at the right people, then you're not going to affect change. That's just a fact. Kyle Kalinske did a poor job trying to keep both sides happy because Jimmy ended up super pissed at him anyway, despite taking Jimmy's side and admitting to agreeing with Jimmy and Aaron on the quote, 85 to 90% of the issues. And right now his fans are unsubscribing from his show in the thousands. Oh my God, who the hell cares? Uh, you used the, the term that she was dressing inappropriately. In retrospect, do you think that that was the wrong terminology to use in that response? Now listen, this is an example of, I think that's a perfectly valid and substantive question. You don't, you don't want to punch Jake Huger in the face. You don't want to punch Anna Kasparian in the face. You don't want to fucking punch Jake Huger in the face. You don't want to punch Anna Kasparian in the face. And Kyle didn't want to punch her in the face for that. Isn't that interesting? So he really wants to punch Cenk Uger and Anna Kasparian in the face, that much is clear. Jimmy Dore has the ability to speak to people who may not know all that much about politics, but they're angry. Now they and know less. In with that anger. Now they know less. Sorry? Now they know less. People wonder why the left is so divided today, and I'm sorry, but a huge reason is because of the content put out by Jimmy Dore. Of course, it's not just him. It's a lot of similar YouTubers like him. Usually, if I'm going to watch the news, I either turn on uh, your show or um, the Young Turks. That's usually who I go to for news. I, I mean, I, usually, if I'm going to watch the news, I either turn on uh, your show, Sam's show, or um, the Young Turks. That's usually who I go to for news. Uh, your show or um, the Young Turks. Oh, my God.